Hey, good people. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Gonna do these invitations here. Make sure you can hear me okay. I'm inviting if you're joining. I hope you're joining. Sorry, I almost got lost in the moment there. <laughs> ah. I'm coming. I'm just inviting. I wish I could sing to you. <laughs> ah. I really want to hear from you all today. Those of you who can jump in on the sharing. I want to invite you. Let me see. I think um, there might be a little lag. But that's okay. It's okay. All right, still inviting. Welcome to Womanhood Wisdom Wednesday. Even though I am on my staycation uh, to be unplugged and just doing whatever feels good to me um, just for a few days I had to come on and just share some time with you all um, it's a commitment that is important to me um, because you all are important to me and in many ways you played hey sweetheart <laughs> a major role in you know how my work has been you know viable uh, in a way that I saw hi cousin how are you looking all pretty over there <laughs> happy holidays so I want to invite you all today to join me in reflecting on your 2017 you know if you are a, a pro if you have been um, yes, thank you. <laughs> so thanks for hanging out with me. I know some of you all are off from work too. Um, so I want to invite you to reflect with me because um, if you ha are, have worked with me, um, particularly uh, in the Rites of Passage program, what do we say? Undigested good turns to shit. <laughs> and so if you're still here, Right now, in this moment, no matter what you've been through, you went through it. And if you, even if you're, if you are just on the edge of it, <laughs> you are still here. Even if you feel like you're still in it, you are still here. And so I want to invite um, you all to get on camera and share with me um, some of your lessons from this year uh, particularly in love sex and money um, you know that's what we focus on in this space however you know it really can be anything because those areas touch on everything uh, in our lives even though we try to separate it out and in this this moment man I'm looking so much like my father I could I could just see him looking over his glasses just now oh my goodness Kim could you see that could you see Dennis just pop right on through <laughs> oh my god you know and those are some of the the major lessons that I that you know I'm happy to share in just a moment as well from the ancestors I feel like the ancestors have been so central to even my love sex and money um, awarenesses so 
I can't wait to, you know, hear from you all. I'm still uh, inviting folks to join. Okay, here we go. You said yes. <laughs> I look like my daddy. <laughs> For a minute there, at least. Yes, yeah, so I'm really, you know, I'm really relaxed and chill. So who wants to come on? Vivian, you want to come on and share? Risha, Janai, Kim, Monique. <laughs> Any one of you would like to be um, invited, just um, press the little person sign with the plus next to it. It's right here next uh, at the bottom of the tray. And if you just press the little man with the plus sign. Or you can put in the comments and I can add you. So until I see a request, let me just start with, with my lessons. Um, I, when I think about this year, you know, in Super Soul Sister Sunday, we focused on hey hey you're at work Vivian what so you can't get on live for those of you who are just joining I'm inviting you to sh get on live with me and share your lessons in love sex and money or the messages you've received this year in love set your love sex and money and um I'm going to share with you if I can I don't I don't know how to decrease this screen and you can see I'm in relax mode so I'm not at my desk. I don't have my laptop open. Um, but there is a special message um, from the angels this year about 2018 that I was gifted um, by my spiritual mother that I would love to share with you all towards the end. So don't leave the broadcast if you can. Um, I, it was such a gift. The reading was so full. Um, I'm going to, those of you who are in the membership um, space, I'll probably come on and read the whole thing to you. But for those of you who are here, I know for the sake of time, I'll just give you, a, you know, a segment of it at the end. But for me, come on, I want to know, if, pick, pick anyone of you. Zoha, hey, you want to come on and share some of your lessons? Man, you manifested a whole baby. <laughs> Um, so yeah, um, I want someone to come on and join me on camera. If you're willing, just put in the comments, yes, yes, you'll come on or just click the little person button down there with the plus sign. So yeah, I, um, this year, it's been, it's been, I have, my consistent messages have been, one a one of surrender just complete surrender um the messages that i have received consistently and some of my clients some of you all know we have been actually saying this especially if you do the work i mean is i we just can't make this shit up you just can't make it up and that's what this year has been for me. Um, and some of you were a part of that because I spent more time. She says, I'm on, Zoha says, I'm on mommy duty. Thank you. I'm listening though. Was well, sending smooches out to our baby love, Marley. <laughs> um, Marley, I hope you can hear auntie's voice for the very first time. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. I wish she could get on so you could see her beautiful baby and hear uh, her love story. Um, shout out to her and her husband on the little book of black love and um, the photo journalism they're doing. Maybe um, we, Rebirth International can partner with you because one of the things that... Um, that I want and have always envisioned is a rebirth in-house photographer, you know, my go-to person. And because I know that you've done sacred work, you and your husband have done sacred work, it would be an honor to talk to you all about um, 
making you all the f- f- official part of the workshop process where some of the ladies get an opportunity to um, experience their their bodies, <laughs> reveal themselves to themselves. So I'll share more and maybe schedule for her to come on um, another time and her husband so we can share some of their work. So that's my shout out back to um, what I was saying. I have received so many messages around surrender this year. Um, I mean, I just cannot make this this stuff up. I have been love in love. I feel like I fell in love with my husband again. Um, ooh, I get teary eyed <laughs> because. Um, I don't think I have ever been loved like this ever and love when you when you know I I know it's true metaphysically I know it's true as a counselor and as a teacher that when you open your heart fully to someone someone opens their heart to you it can look like chaos because love will expose you to yourself. It will expose the dark places. A lot of the things that we call love really is not love. Um, and and because of who I am, and I'm I'm not saying that from a lofty place, but I I could say it this way because of the call on my life. And even some of the readings, um, I, I, I knew that this man had to meet me at a certain place, right? And I, I knew that there would be a level of surrender. Remember, I'm saying my lessons are surrender. I knew that there would be a level of surrender required, but it's not like I thought. It's not like I read. And because of that, I've been able to see myself and not run from it. <laughs> Come on now, y'all with me? I I can I can see myself and it ain't always pretty and not run from it. So that's my lesson for love. Come on, anybody that wants to join me can jump on. Please jump on with me. Hey, sweetheart, Ayana, I know you have some lessons, baby. You went through a whole flood. you the before the year ended. Baby girl had her little her her scare. You come on. You better try to jump on this live with me and share some of those love, sex, and money lessons. Dancing, ju- juicy butterfly, you. <laughs> Come on, if you're going to jo- join me, just say yes, I'll add you. Dana, if you want to join me, just say yes, I'll add you. And so, um, in sex, I've also uh, learned how for me, even in who I am and what I'm, I'm up to in the world, it really is a healer. It really is necessary. Um, it's necessary, (laughs) like really, really, really necessary. Um, and I've been able to access through my surrender. I've been able to access levels of trance that I could only access in sex, sex, in my sexuality. And so no, no ordinary No ordinary stroke will ever do again. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right. And then for money. Oh, man. A lot of you all are back at work. I didn't expect that. Okay. All right. For money. um, Huh. Well, you know, with, with the whole... Bitcoin game and the gold game that we've been playing and some of you joined me early on or mid-year in this game. 
Um, oh, but listen, if you cannot join me on the live to share, drop your comments, your answers to, to your love, sex and money lessons in the comments. I'll read them. If that, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, go across the street, do what you got to do. <laughs> um, but if you can't, if you, Vivian, those of you who are at work, if you can just type something in there, in here, please come back and share. And, you know, not just for you, share it for, share it as a release, as a signal of release, a signal of your inner process to yourself and an offering, a tithe and offering to a sister who is, who, who doesn't know how to reflect in that way, right? Um, for money, I, it, it, it truly has been a year of surrender as well. Um, For those of you who join me on the pay yourself first journey, just starting with that. You know, I had been, let me tell you what a little backdrop before I before I go into into the money lesson fully. Okay. <laughs> I guess it's not liking my position. So here we go. Um I for my money lesson, back to my money lesson, okay? You all still with me over there? For the Bitcoin and the gold, I have been... What about now? What? I don't know where that where that's coming from. What about now? Okay, let me know if you can hear me now. Since I just can't chill, I got to get up <laughs> and, and, and stand up in it. <laughs> okay, so no, it's not. So I'm going to come out since you all are all having a sound issue and it's no better. I'm going to come out and come back in. Oh, it's better now. Surrender. You see that? Live and in live <laughs> surrender. The moment I said, okay, well, let me just let this one go and come back in. Look at what happened. So you can hear me now. I'm telling you, I can't make this stuff up. I don't know why there would be any kind of shrill or anything, 
But here, we have Dana joining us. I'll come back to the money. I'm adding you. you you're about to come in. Dana, Juicy Butterfly, Dana Beasley is joining us. There she is. Hey. I can't hear you, though. Can you hear me okay? You cannot hear me? Turn your volume uh -oh. up. Uh-oh. Can you still not hear me? No? <laughs> no? <laughs> I can read your lips, now? but I can't hear you. <laughs> damn. She's like, damn. Okay. She's, she, Let right? me go She's out. Like, damn. Let me go out. I'm going to go out, come back in. Oh, okay. You want to go out and come back Let in? Let me go out, okay. come back in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Um, Mercury is out of retrograde, but it's in the shadow period. So I'm going to put this right here. See if that's any better. Okay. Can you hear me now? All right. Yeah. Yes, I can hear you. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Awesome. I am well, I am well. I am well. Happy holidays to everyone and you and yours. So 2017 you. has been really interesting for me. Um, for the money piece, or well, let's start with the love piece. Because <laughs> you know, well, you know, and many of them don't know. <laughs> Um, I entered 2017 having broken off a three and a half year, almost four year relationship. And even with love, um, 2017 has been really eye opening for me because I've had to realize that, you know, I really need to focus on loving my family, loving myself first, loving my family. I'm loving the relationships that I have with people that are not intimate. So um, that for me was a major lesson here in 2017. And I, I really believe that it's going to um, help me grow and, and, and be even more involved the next time I decide to go into an intimate relationship because I'm able to now rebuild my foundational level of love. So mm -hmm. that's the major um, lesson for me in love in 2017 because I even had to question, do I even believe in love when it comes to, lo you know, like the intimate relationship type thing? Do I even believe in love anymore? Does that even really exist or is it just something that people just say because <laughs> most people want to hear it? Is this something that I'm really feeling? Is it something that I'm really experiencing? So I, I really had to get deep down inside of myself and question these things because, you know, I, I being in intimate relationships, um, after having been in a, a 18, 19 year marriage, <laughs> and mm -hmm. out of it, and then having to get back in this dating scene, which is a whole nother storyline mm -hmm. in and of itself. That's another topic. But, you know, going in, into the dating scene now in this day and age is completely different. And everybody's quick to throw around that L word. Oh, I love you. Oh, oh, you're just so wonderful. And I love you. But, do you, is it, but are you just in love with me or just infatuated? You know, so, <laughs> so those, you know, I had to really dig and sit down with myself and say, hey, slow down. Let's build on the foundational stuff, yourself, your children, your family, those who you're not intimate with, and let's really explore this love thing in 2017. So that was, that was a major lesson for me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And sex and money, you want to share or are you just sharing love? 
It's a, it's up to you. <laughs> I can share. So money, of course, 2017 has been really interesting <laughs> with money because of more, you know, with, with 2017 money, we really boosted this, the cryptocurrency world and the gold world. And my lesson in 2017 was I create my own wealth. I create my own Girl, wealth. Yes. That was the lesson. The journey was stop depending on everyone else to create the wealth for me. Stop depending on the job. Stop depending on friends and family. Stop depending on the outside forces. You create your own wealth. It, it starts with how you spend. It starts with how you, you uh, the decisions that you make for money. It, just start, it starts with how you say it starts with how you really dig in uh, your research what money is. And so those were major for me. That was something that I really had to dive into deep and realize I create my own wealth. And it's by the actions that I take, the decisions that I make, and how I choose to move forward if I choose to move forward. I like that. Somebody capture that, that can type that in. That's a lesson for somebody else, too. I create my, my own wealth. Yeah, Go ahead, honey. Yeah, yeah. So sex. <laughs> so sex in 2017 has been interesting. Um, I do have a couple of partners. And um, my lesson was be open and honest. It's that simple. Be open and honest. Open. That simple. <laughs> open and honest. No limits, ladies. No limits. <laughs> open and honest. And my sexual lifestyle has been amazing. It's been really good. It's been relaxed. Um, you did a piece early. I think it was probably second or third quarter of this year where you talked about how... Um, you know, have you been penetrated? Have you ever really been penetrated? And that thing hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was like, ooh, that's it. But if nothing else, that's juicy. <laughs> and from that point, I really sat down and meditated on that thing. And once I, I left, because you were talking about surrender even then, when you were talking about, you know, have you been penetrated? Oh, wow. You were talking about surrender even then. And so for me, oh, wow. I asked, you know, have I really surrendered to my partners? Have I really allowed myself to be vulnerable to my partners and not really control everything, control my sexual actions, control how I carry myself, control what acts I will and will not perform? You know, have I been in control or have I really ever allowed <laughs> myself to be vulnerable and exposed and, you know, just pleasured? Um, and so this year in 2017, I, I sat with that. I opened myself up and let me tell you, talk about a juicy sex life. It has been amazing. It's been one place to relax. It's been pleasurable. It's been sensual. You, you said sexual. something so quickly though. I, I gotta, I gotta capture. You said just allowing myself to be pleasured. Yes. Hello, ladies. Come on now. Yes. Sometimes we yeah. need, we need to get get on that curriculum of allowing ourselves. Sounds like you got on that curriculum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's funny because I know by I'm, choice, I, and by, by force. Yes, by choice. Yes, and and really by sitting with myself and saying, I desire mm -hmm. pleasure, but was I allowing myself to have it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's deep. That's so, deep. Once I open that up, y'all, I can now, as of two days ago, officially say I am in an open friendship relationship. <laughs> which with I, benefits. I, with be full benefits and loving all of it. And having that partner that really <laughs> encourages me to explore. That has been major. 
Hey, that's what that's really the um season that the relationships are taking on their own landscape now. You know, this this whole idea of looking for the one and the whole idea of it has to be cookie cutter. That's probably what has been causing the divorce divorce rate to be as high as it is, you know, is that we have made made things uniform based off of the wrong form. <laughs> and so I'm not advocating either way, but every couple needs to know what works for them, you know, and, and yeah, half a half a cheating wouldn't even exist if if people allow other people to tell them the truth, you know, but because we don't we don't live in truth, we we end up in low vibrational fuckships or low vibrational yeah. um, marriages. Um, and, and yeah, it looks good on the outs outside, but on the inside, people are uh, miserable and suffering. And some people have chosen misery as a, as a way of life, but um, in this, this season of, of enlightenment, a lot of people are, are reevaluating what their relationship looks like. I mean, so, hey, God is salute to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank so, you. So thank you. Thank, yes. Thank you for your work. But thanks so much for sharing. I'm going to make room for someone else to come on here and share like you did, honey. Everybody's saying in the comments, they're happy for you. Get it, Dana. Aww. Thank <laughs> y'all. Thank y'all so much. You'll see them when you My come back on. Thank you for sharing, honey. Pleasure. <laughs> okay. So... All right, sweetie. Love you. Anyone else that wants to jump on, just click the little, little plus sign, but I see some comments I'm going to read. Monique says, the year of yes to me, surrendering control, attachments, and learning how to fall in love with myself and embracing all of that is me. All, that's embracing all that is me without judgment. <clears throat> okay, now. Vivian said, okay, now y'all got, y'all have surrender lessons too. I was just talking about my lesson, but y'all have surrender lessons also. Now I want y'all to look because, hey, it doesn't have to be what I said it was for me now. But um, Vivian said, I had to surrender love with a man who was real, who was for real, truly loves me. I let go of the strong, independent black businesswoman and submit to my femininity. And once I did, I freed myself to the most juicy love I've ever experienced in my life. All right, now. Thank you for sharing that. Anyone else want to join on? I want to hear what you've experienced. Ayana, are you still there? Yes, I'm calling you out because... The Juicy Butterfly community, they know what the magic that you've been working with, but it would be nice for some of these other sisters to, and just to encourage yourself. When you start talking about your lessons, and it doesn't always have to be, you know, good ones. I chose love, sex, and money because those are the ones that we pay the closest attention to. But our life is always offering us lessons in other areas as well. Sometimes it's through our children, which falls under love. Sometimes it's through a career change or a desire that bubbles up on the inside of you. But it also can be um, losing everything, you know? It can be sudden moves and shifts, relocation. It can be the end of friendships. I've had so many messages about relationships, you know, who, that have come to uh, an end or a shift for apparently no reason at all. I've had women coming to me to that looked like they were not present or was not reliable only to find out that they were in an abusive relationship, not once, but several times this year, um, which taught me a lesson as a counselor and a healer to use another eye. And so I've been able now to almost know and sense from, from another professional 
eye, a professional lens, definitely intuitive, but another lens of when a woman is in an abusive situation, even if it's mental abuse. Because those ladies were classic cases and I had no idea. Anyone else want to jump on and share? I don't know if I, let me see if I can catch one of you. Come on, y'all. Come come and share. Come on in the room or drop it in the comments. I can I can definitely I can finish my money lesson if anyone wants to join in. Dana said I create my own wealth, but I have learned how to become my own bank. <clears throat> and if I did not study the alternative um, ways to invest my money because my vision was is so big that it would get frustrating sometimes when I would I would be focused on this big because I'm a visionary right you know so I have the gift of sight naturally I'm going to be a visionary so in my big vision I'm I'm like I can only sometimes see the end the big picture but what getting in this money game has done is it's helped me to pay attention to other details, connect some dots. Like I had a piece here, I had a piece there, and now all of those pieces are fitting in even from the spiritual level as it relates to money. So the pay yourself first was, was such a pivotal shift for me that next year I'm going to be teaching on this all year long in my monthly masterclass. It's going to be about money healing. Um, in because um, I have had such a tremendous perspective. We're going to have some guests that will come in, and it will be an awesome um, opportunity for us to make some significant shifts. All right. So you already got a sneak peek on 2017. Janai says, I love, I have learned to love unconditionally despite what others think and despite the situation. In sex, I have learned that I want it more often because pleasure is definitely my birthright. Did I say it that with enough emphasis like you would say it, sis? In money, I have learned to trust. Overall, my lesson for the years to let go of fear in all areas. I've learned to really trust my spirit and what I know. Yes. Thank you for sharing that. All right. That brings up for me, you know, one of the deeper shadow lessons and maybe I'll come back um, or you could just add for a bonus any shadow lessons, because if you didn't have a shadow in 2017, ending it is ending it on uh, in preparation for this next wave of energy that's coming, which I'm going to talk about in just a minute. Um, if you didn't have a shadow period, a lot of times you won't be able to benefit from um, the next, the next invitation of the season. So my shadow period, you know, I have, I, I was, I, I'm so glad you said that about unconditional love, Janai, because one of the things that I had to learn is how to give even more when I didn't want to, when people didn't deserve it, um, when I it, it, empathically sometimes when I even knew that I was a second choice or a uh, afterthought to show up just like I was the first. And, you know, I have discovered some amazing things that I want to share with women around that whole mother wound. Um, I have, um, I had to look at my resistance in areas, the things that I resisted the most held the most information for me. And the biggest thing that I can say is that the information had always been there. I found readings that had been telling me, the, telling me so much about my journey and what my lessons on, my karmic lessons on earth would be. And <clears throat> so in these last few months, there's been in this, in this when, I, when I can tell you that teaching on yes, has opened a vortex for me and for my clients. I can say that those people who came to Super Soul Sister Sunday probably can tell this testimony 
that the the this year of yes <clears throat> alignment um what did we call it our year of yes uh alignment abundance uh and action action alignment and abundance i i can truly say that it has opened me into some very shadow spaces that were necessary painful wrenching travailing awareness of myself i almost had to catch the tendency to beat up on myself i'm sharing this with you so even no matter where you are if you respect me in any way to know that i'm not exempt none of your leaders are exempt and if they stand before you as though they are exempt in any way or some teacher or whatever they're most of the time they're lying you know, I, I we had some some deaths in the community, and we always kind of surround Ianla during this period because she lost her daughter on Christmas. Okay, <laughs> I don't care, I don't care how many years that pass, that's gonna always be with you, right? And then last year, um, I want to give no year before last. She it was another sister in the community who became like her daughter. She was already very close to all of us, beloved, and um, she died on Christmas Eve. She was Ianla's right hand in 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 almost everything, just like Jamia was. And so when one of the instructors from Intervision made made her transition, um, I reached out to and um, made sure like, hey, mom, I know you got a lot of people around you, but are you okay? And she said, she wrote, she said, you know, she said, I'm a tough old, old chick over here, but she lets us love on her. And so she was like, I, you know, she, she's constantly sharing her awarenesses and the shifts that are necessary. And when you have a certain anointing on your head, there are certain things in your life that may feel like it's punitive. It may feel like something is being withheld from you. But because of what's, what's on your head, what's, what, who governs your head, it affects your destiny. It's, you have to experience certain things. So the things that sometimes can feel torturous as a part of your story is a part of your mastery, your self-mastery. It's a part of your curriculum. That's what I think I'm realizing more and more. And that's why I have been emphasizing the quality clientele that wants to take the journey of self-mastery for the long term. You notice I haven't been doing a whole bunch of short-term type of programs. Everybody that's been working with me basically has been working with me over time because that's how I got it. I didn't get it from one workshop. That's why I'm telling you, I had all these readings and all these different things because I have been on this journey. And so now walking in the truth that I have all that I need to go to do the next thing is, it's scary as, okay? But I am saying yes, right? So your yes has prepared you for something. So let me close this out since nobody is going to jump on. If you want to jump on while I'm talking, don't worry about it. Just jump on. It's no, no particular order. I just wanted to connect with you today. I'll talk more about this for those who have invested in the subscription um, in the G-Force. We had a good class on the, on the um, lessons uh, from, from the pussy, right? The power of the P. Come on now, tell them we had a good class. We went over, we went over, that masterclass was litty. It was lit, it went over, and I still gotta process it and post that up. We had a good time for a little low $29 class. That masterclass was masterful. So, <laughs> so listen, um, 2018 has the influence of three angels, Archangel Michael,
Archangel Jophiel. Archangel Ch 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 Chiri Chiri Chirinel Chiriel. Three three archangels. It is divine love, uh, divine wisdom. Uh, the third one is going to come to me. Th this is what they govern. And they are asking that we ha answer these types of questions before we go into 2018. That you look at the most challenging times that you had in 2017 and answer, like sit down and answer. What was the gift? What was the lesson that they taught? that those things taught to you in 2017. 2018 is going to be a, an invitation um, into self-mastery, which means that we have to conquer the spirit of victimhood. That means that those of you who have been playing on the sideline of ascension, being around people who have worked with ascended masters, reading from the ascended masters, but keeping it quiet. That means that many of you are going to have to get off of the fence. Um, this year of 2018 is also known, self-mastery is also one of vision. And so it's going to be for you to be able to see it. And if you do not see it, it will be exposed. It is going to be governed by Capricorn energy. Um, Capricorn is in Saturn for three years. And so that means Saturn is the taskmaster, the disciplinarian. Saturn is the energy of the father. So that means that we have to, uh, this is why the money healing journey that I will be teaching in 2018 for the mastery classes is really going to go I feel like I haven't I haven't experienced a program that goes deep in like that, because um, I, I wouldn't have seen it, and so I can understand because Saturn is the energy of the Father, and if you remember the scripture that says that the sins of the Father fall upon the children, it's interesting that it did not say the sins of the mother. It's the the Bible says the sins of the Father fall upon the children. <laughs> Very interesting. Um, but I don't want to teach that right now. So the father energy is your conscious mind, though. Let me, I don't want to drop that and just roll out. But the, the, the father energy is the energy of your conscious mind, right? Um, and so this is why we're seeing a lot of what has been unconscious being made conscious. And the key to ascension is to not be attached to either the unconscious or the conscious, but to access the super consciousness. The super consciousness means that the, the, those things that we have been so heavily attached to, whether it be our identity, whether it be um, how much we're making and how many people are, are working with us or what these, these, um, these, these markers for success that are all based in the material when the material is fine, but the way that we're going to get through of uh, what's coming, Yanla and others have been saying to us, 2018 is going to be intense. First of all, Saturn in Cap Capricorn right there is very, very focused energy. However, the universe gives you support. It gives you angels to, uh, to access. I will come back in the comments and I will write the correct spelling of the three angels um, that I have just mentioned. Um, and maybe even just a little excerpt from uh, the message. So listen, that's the sneak peek into 2018. Um, I'm thinking about doing just an informal uh, midnight meditation or something or an extended meditation on um, Sunday for Super Soul Sister Sunday to just make that Sunday a special meditation Sunday um, 
for us to go into the new year uh, on another note. So thank you all for sharing in the comment comments. Thank you, Dana, for coming on live. And anyone else that's joining later, I'd love to hear from you as well. So um, I shared a little bit. Also, keep in mind, bookmark the date, January 2018, the Juicy You, 30 Days Living in Your Sweet Spot. 30 Days Living in Your Sweet Spot, the Juicy You, no matter whether you've experienced it one time, you can experience it again to match the new season. If it's for the first time, then it's your, it will be your introduction to the spiritual power of pleasure. Um, mind, body, and spirit. And so that's coming up for 2018 for sure. Um, the month, the master class that we will be starting with next month is healing money curses. Oh yeah, we're going right in. And it may be a master class. It may be a free offering. So I'm looking forward to sharing more with you all about 2018. I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. Make sure you connect with me. Thank you. I see you putting in your comments. Continue, y'all.